The two royals who were reportedly at Queen Elizabeth's side during her final hours have become the family's most public figures in the days since. King Charles III has officially ascended the throne, but he's sharing the spotlight with his sister, Princess Anne. Following the example the Queen herself set following the death of Princess Diana, Princess Anne waited five days before issuing a statement, which royal contributor Victoria Arbiter shared in a tweet. Princess Anne shared, I was fortunate to share the last 24 hours of my dearest mother's life. It has been an honor and a privilege to accompany her on her final journeys. Witnessing the love and respect shown by so many on these journeys has been both humbling and uplifting. Referring to both the Queen's funeral and her brother's ascension to the British throne, Princess Anne also added, We will all share unique memories. I offer my thanks to each and every one who share our sense of loss. Princess Anne also went on to admit that the loss of her mother reminded her of the things she felt were taken for granted, explaining, We may have been reminded how much of her presence and contribution to our national identity we took for granted. The Princess Royal has remained beside her mother, from Queen Elizabeth's journey from Balmoral Castle, where she died, to her arrival in London on September 13th. Video captured the look of grief on the Princess Royal's face as she watched her mother's casket be loaded onto the plane that would take her away from her beloved Scotland for the last time. Princess Anne was at Buckingham Palace with other royal family members to receive the Queen, when the hearse carrying the Queen was greeted by a round of cheers. Part of Queen Elizabeth II's final journey included a six-hour procession from Balmoral to the Palace of Holyrood House. There, King Charles was joined by Princess Anne and Prince Edward, both dressed in military uniform, as well as Prince Andrew, to walk the Queen's casket to St. Giles Cathedral. Once at St. Giles Cathedral, the casket was draped with the Royal Standard of Scotland before being adorned with a simple floral wreath and the Crown of Scotland. Afterwards, the siblings took part in the tradition known as the Vigil of the Princes, during which they stood on all four sides of the Queen's coffin in silence, as the public paid their respects. Princess Anne's involvement in the tradition marks the first time a woman has been allowed to participate. If there were any questions before about how Princess Anne felt about her mother, those feelings had been made clear in the days following her death. If the final curtsy Anne gave the Queen's casket when it arrived at the Palace of Holyrood House was any indication of her feelings, Anne clearly respected, admired, and loved the Queen. In a previously unaired interview from 2017 with ITV's royal editor Chris Shipp, Princess Anne spoke about the relationship she shared with her mother. Besides her appreciation for her parents' partnership, Princess Anne said she and her mother also shared a passion for horses, revealing the connection and freedom they found in the sport. If you live that rather restricted life, horses become a lot more important, I suspect, because they do give you an opportunity to take you right out of that. During that same interview, Anne talked about how she learned to be a royal by following the example her mother was setting. One example included the aftermath of Diana's death in 1997, when Elizabeth chose to stay at Balmoral Castle with Prince William and Prince Harry in the wake of their mother's death. According to Oprah Daily, since the Queen also waited five days to release a public statement, she was called aloof by critics. Anne, however, felt her mother did what she was supposed to do by putting family first.